Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot card. These are your Daily Tarot cards for Thursday, November 24th, 2022. Happy American Thanksgiving. Today we're pulling from the Game of Thrones Tarot cards for Throne Thursday. So we're starting off with the Seven of Pentacles, taking a step back and assessing how far we've come. To, like with the cards, like today is Monday technically because I filmed ahead of time. So 22, 22 is in the sky. So a great day for manifestations, a great day to sit there and be, you know, let the universe the, or God, whomever you believe in, be thankful for everything that you have in your life and everything to come. Everything that has passed, everything you've asked for, everything that is coming in the future. But assessing how far you've come. You know, we have the Ace of Spears as well as the Nine of Coins talking about a rebirth in our life. So with the Ace of Spears talks about a commitment from a male partner. With the Nine of Coins, it's talking about this rebirth in our life, an interjection of new energy, Empress energy in a minor way. We have the Ten, let me see if I can block that a little bit. Nope. We have the Ten of Coins, you know, talking about, you know, this happy time. This is a minor yes in tarot. So, you know, we got that yesterday. Say yes to things. But you know what? You got to make the final decision. It's free will. Or do you want to say yes to these things? Or is this something you're just like, ah, uh, you know, we have the Knight of cups. So I feel like either a new offer in, in work will come in finances with no harm to none. Or this could be like they're saying with the Ace of Spears, a new love coming in. This is brand new. I feel like if you're kind of transfixed or, you know, with a, a certain situation, I feel like maybe it's gone as far as it's going to go. I feel like the ball is in the other person's court. Leave it alone. You know what I mean? We don't force anything. Let it happen naturally. You know what I mean? Just go through the emotions. You know what I mean? But I feel like someone brand new is going to come here. And I feel like they're like, oh, say yes to it. You know what I mean? But it's just like at the same time, are you only saying yes because that side isn't working out? You know what I mean? You got to see your value. You know what I mean? Just because... The person you want to be with is not saying yes. Doesn't mean you sit there and, oh, well, they're saying no. Or, you know, this situation isn't moving fast for me. So I'm going to sit there. I don't know how many times I've sat, sat there and saw that. You know, it wasn't working out with one situation. You know, so they thought. They turn around and start seeing someone else and the other person that they liked. Like, oh, it's too bad. I like them. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, they literally liked you. And I, they thought it wasn't going to work out. So they moved on. It always happens that way. It's like communication. I definitely got that yesterday with the dark wood. It's like, you know, that the empress and that crimson red robe. It was like communication. So seven of coins, potential effort, expansion, result. The seven shows potential success. If you expect better results by now, don't spend too much longer analyzing in the right. If, if you're in the right business or made the right choices. The seven shows you will succeed eventually. The key is to keep going and put in constant effort. E even when the work is tedious, don't turn back. Isn't that like any project that you do in life? You know what I mean? Especially when it's something that you're passionate about. It's like we think that we'll get this sudden success. And it's like, you know, you got to put in the effort. You know what I mean? You can have, you know, 15 minutes of fame or you can have something that's worth a lifetime. Ace of Spears, beginnings, drive, desire, ideas, fertility, fiery energy. So the new moon is in Sagittarius. They're like, sit there and set your sights for the future. Point your arrow and let it go. You know, you're being pulled back. Sometimes we're pulled back so far because the universe is about to, to spring catapult us forward. Is a great omen for success for new work, business, creative ventures, and travel. Clear purpose and drive. Achieve your desires. As the wand is a symbol of male fertility, the card also shows starting a family. Additional meaning is commitment from a male partner. You know, so we get these commitments. We're getting commitment a lot, you know. So it's just like, you know, maybe you're ready for that commitment finally. You know, sometimes a great healing has to take place for, you know, for you to be open. I was talking to like, you know, I felt like I was in a chrysalis for the past five years. You know, this deep healing had to happen. You know, I had to find my value. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm falling in back into old patterns, but it's just like, at least I'm aware of it. You know what I mean? Just like w watch that behavior, you know, be mindful of that. You know, 10 of coins, happy wealth, happiness, uh, consolidation, family, marriage, this joyful 10 showing consolidating 
wealth and sharing love. So maybe coming together in a partnership with no harm to none. And so it is. So this card means and um, includes relationship commitment, marriage, wedding gifts, inheritance. There's where that no harm to none comes in. And close friendship circle. Relationships and investments mature. Additional meaning includes good advice from an older person and finding your dream home. Maybe this is where they're saying consolidating of assets. You're able to find your dream home now because you guys were able to sit there and consolidate everything. Nine of coins, fulfillment, comfort, prosperity, force. The nine symbolizes satisfaction and prosperity. Financial worries are over. Projects get completed and your efforts bring material benefits, including the finer things in life. You feel happy and at home with your yourself and any past sacrifices you have made feel worthwhile. An additional meaning include redecorating and yard work or gardening projects. So literally everybody right now is sitting there and getting all of their festive, you know, decorations out. Some people have it out for Thanksgiving right now. You know, they have that autumn theme, you know, so like with Can Canadians, we celebrate the second week of October. So now we've got our tree up, you know, so it's just like decorating, you know, I got stuff up and I feel like I should put more. <laughs> it already seems like a lot, but you know, isn't that always the case? Oh, go overboard because it's only for, you know, so many months of the year. Um, so with the Nine of Cups, I feel like something's coming in here. I feel like this could be like something like with work, finances. You know, we keep talking about something coming in here with no harm to none. But this also could be like a new love. Like I was saying earlier, like, you know, this could be that they're like, you know what? This situation has gone as far as it can. You know, but again, it's up to you. Free will. You don't have to say yes if you don't feel anything. Don't say yes just for the fact that it's just like because the other side isn't working. You know what I mean? It's like, you don't know what's going to happen there. You know what I mean? It's not saying wait forever for someone. No, not at all. But the thing is, it's just like, don't say yes just for the sake of saying yes. Just to um, fulfill, to, to feel like, you know, oh, I feel, you know, wanted. I feel needed. You know, you, you're you wanted and needed every day. You know what I mean? Show up for yourself. You don't need to have someone add that to your life. You know, they should bring something to your life where you both could grow and expand and add to each other's life, but in, in no means should you ever be in a relationship just for the fa fact of, you know, you don't want to be alone. Get yourself comfortable with an uncomfortable situation. Be comfortable with the silence. Be comfortable with yourself. Find things that make you happy. You know, fill that time with, you know, hobbies and going out with friends, spending time with your children if you have children. Like, do, you're with your fur babies. Like, do things that bring in positivity. Promise, ideals, and, and invitations. Romantic and idealistic, this night may en enchant you. So this card shows the the possibilities of new love. The night, lo the night loves being the lover equally. You may project onto him or her the dreamy qualities you ideally want. Wait before you commit. Wait before you commit. They've been saying this all flipping year. Wait before you you commit. Listen to the universe. They're hitting you over the head with the book. Wait before you commit. Apply to a situation. There is a proposal or an, an invitation for you, but assess carefully what is an offer. And that's what I mean. Just because the universe said yes, it's like, oh my gosh, I have to say yes to everything. No. If you feel that it's for you and you feel like, you know, this is something you want to say yes to, say yes to it. If you don't feel comfortable with it or it's not for you, then don't say yes to it. It was an opportunity and just say, you know what, what an amazing blessing that I was offered this, that I was even considered for this, whatever the situation is, job, you know, someone tells you that they like you. That's very sweet. You know what I mean? So it's just like, for <laughs> they're reminding me, you know, uh, someone sat there and it's like someone I'm close to, you know, sat there and I was just like, I was thinking of them and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I'm going to message them. So I messaged them and I said, listen, you came to my mind. They said this message. I said, I just wanted to let you know. And, you know, we started talking and kiki. And they're just like, I just want to show my appreciation and send you a Christmas gift. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You don't have to do that. You know, they're just like, say yes to everything. It's like, God damn it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's just like, I'm not, I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm not used to that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Being appreciated. You know what I mean? So it's just, when someone appreciates you, it's just, but I can't remember what I was reading. I think it was the daily cards and it's like we share an energetic 
uh, energy and love and friendship. You know what I mean? That's the gift of uh, the shared energy. You know what I mean? So I was like, that's where, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm like the fact that we kiki and all that good stuff. You know what I mean? I'm like, that's a gift in itself. The friendship is a gift in itself. And she's just like, ah, whatever. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I thought that was sweet. So it's just like, you know, for me, it's hard compliments and, and being appreciated because it's, you're so used to the opposite of that. Right. So it's just like getting comfortable with it. You know, I, you know, anytime I feel like, uh, kind of off guard. It's like, I feel socially awkward. You know what I mean? I'm sure a lot of us feel that way. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Thursday, November 24th, 2022. If you're celebrating Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, you know, all the best, have a safe and happy holiday, and we'll see you guys for the next daily tarot card.